what is a bad boss? First, we have to start by describing what a bad boss is. A boss or manager's main responsibility is to make sure you are completing your work in a timely manner. Usually these positions of power tend to go to the heads of management and the employee can find themselves trapped in situations where they are being abused and harassed by their supervisor. Are you just a bad employee? Before you begin telling both your friends and yourself that you are a victim of harassment and or micromanagement at work, think back and truly assess yourself professionally. Honestly, rethink and consider what your supervisor is expecting of you. If you feel the expectations are just too high, then speak to your supervisor about these unreal expectations. Just make sure you have some data to back up your position. Chances are your supervisor had no idea they were stressing you out or being over the top. Speaking to your boss and telling them how you feel is the only way someone else is going to know exactly what you want. Just like in any relationship, communication is key. Have you ever spoken to your manager about this issue? Most people who have issues with their managers never actually get around to speaking to them about these issues. These same people are usually the ones you hear complaining about their work life to you but not to their managers. These are also just like the people who want a salary increase but are not willing to increase their own value or level of education. Is your boss an abusive bully? Now, if you have tried speaking to your manager and they continue to overly micromanage you and mistreat you, you are in an abusive relationship and need to protect yourself accordingly. If you have tried communicating, you must escalate and go up the chain of command and speak to your manager's supervisor. This is inevitably going to burn all bridges between you and your manager. So be ready with your evidence as well as your new job search. Also, keep in mind that managers are people too, and they too have too many responsibilities and deadlines to meet, especially as companies are always looking to consolidate multiple positions into one. 10 years ago, a manager may have had one set of responsibilities, whereas today they may have double that same amount. Chances are your boss is also stressed and overly managed as well. If your manager is abusive, chances are they learned this probably from their own managers in the past or at your specific company. This management style might actually be the norm for the company where you work, so you can't really blame your supervisor for this in this scenario. Do some research to see if management styles are similar elsewhere in the company. Keep a paper trail to protect yourself. Remember, if there is ever an investigation by your HR department, you will need evidence. All forms of communication should be saved and kept for your defense. This includes but should not be limited to emails, texts, notes, written documents, even a personal journal. When HR is doing its research, they will investigate in order to corroborate what you are saying. Having evidence is crucial if you are to be believed. Plan your exit. If your job is currently a sinking ship, make sure you are searching for a way out without letting others at work find out. This last sentence is key, without others finding out. Because if someone finds out, you run the risk of being sent home immediately by your human resources department. No one wants their employee going off to a competitor, so companies are usually willing to cut ties as soon as possible. Rather than having you walk away with some of their business knowledge, copies of your previous work, and client information. So in order to reduce this risk, if a company finds out you are leaving, they might just give you the boot preemptively. Plan B. Report any abusive activity to your HR department. Remember, it is not legal for a supervisor to harass you at work. If you feel you are being harassed at work, reach out to your human resources department. If that doesn't work, reach out to an attorney in your local area to learn more about the local laws and regulations that protect you as an employee. Remember, you never know what life already has planned for you. So get out there, take chances, and protect yourself. You should never accept abuse of any kind. This includes the workplace as well. We upload new videos every week, so subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the like button as well. Click the notification bell to be notified of when we upload these videos. See you on the next episode of Culture Screen.